The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obasike, makes an unscheduled visit to the head office of the Edo Line Transport Company in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. This is a sequel to reports submitted by a committee set up to investigate the position of the state-owned transport company. A third most transport company in Nigeria, dating back to the defunct Midwest state era, is now a shadow of itself as broken vehicles litter the premises. After a thorough going over of the facility, Governor Basaki decides to probe further. How much are they owing you in terms of gratuity or salaries? Is anybody's salary not paid? No. Huh? How, how do they pay you? Government pays. So government will pay you for four years. I have not done any work. No, no, no. no. Yeah, so for three years you have not done any work for two years. Are you happy about it? No, we're not happy. We're ready to The administrative manager of Edo Line Transport Company, Osaro Maximia, feels the Edo chief executive in with the present position of things. Presently, we have a 185. How many drivers? We have a. Seven, 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 seven. Half of them are drivers? Yes. Or about half? Yes. How many technicians? Then we have a mechanics, about 11 mechanics now. Mm -hmm. Mechanic. Then we have a, our senior staff, 33, comprising of clerks, therapists, and then we have administrative staff. Then we have a senior staff, 33. Then, then the senior managers. Following the conversation, the fate of a dual line transport is decided. The company has huge amounts of debts, and as a government, we cannot afford to continue in this sort of situation. So, what we are doing is we are absorbing the staff from the to boost our public transportation fleets. We will shut down this place, clean it up, decide on how to liquidate the debts, and whatever is left will then use the premises for other ventures. The Ado State Government says it will launch a full investigation to determine the fate of the now-defunct Ado Line Transport Company.